वेलकम टू बिट फ्यूम्स एंड यू नो इन हिंदी लैंग्वेज देर इज अ वर्ड कॉल्ड यात्रा यात्रा मीन्स जर्नी सो लेट मी टेक यू अ जर्नी और आई कैन से यात्रा ऑफ याजरा सो वॉट इज याजरा याजरा बॉक्स इज जस्ट अ वेबसाइट विच इज हैविंग मोर ऑफ द टूल्स बट द मोस्ट फेमस टूल इज याजरा data table and yatra box data table so we are going to start this series where we are going to see how we can set up yatra box data table on our laravel project but before doing that we know we have a simple table so why actually we need yatra so this episode is all about introduction and why we need yatra so here i have a simple laravel app and i have created the login auth system and if i go on database yeah i have seeded the database user table is simple empty and here i have done something that means uh, i have the table and i'm looping through all the users and printing a name and email and that exactly coming from the controller of home controller which we get by using php make auth so what exactly i'm going to do i'm going to yeah i have the tinker already running here so if you don't know you can simply start the tinker like this and you don't need to give the sudo so let's say i'm going to create a new user by using this factory so i'm just going to hit it and yes i have a new user and if i copy this you can see the table is filled with that user copy and go to chrome and let's log in so on the home page yeah you can see i have the table and showing name and email which is exactly coming from this home dot plate and you can see we have this table and that is exactly this this is okay for now but what if i create more data so i just going to create 1000 users so it will just take one or two second to create 1000 users by using the factory and if i refresh all the 1000 users are listed here so because we are just doing this so it's not a problem to load 1000 users but still it takes some amount of time and if we are on a real project we are loading lots of things that creates problem so generally what we do we do simple pagination so instead of having all i will say paginate let's say 10 okay so i am just getting the 10 so yeah delete this one yeah so i'm just getting the 10 but to get other list or other details what we need to do we just need to use the pagination links so users arrow links and this one is done and now at the bottom you can see we have the pagination link but again every time it refreshes the page we don't want this so if you are doing these things you have a table so you, what you generally do you use data table so if i go to yajra box itself yeah data table dot net is there and that exactly used by uh, yajra box but if you just going to use the data table you need to have this two uh, things like css for uh, data table so let's use the css so on the app dot blade i am going to have the css so link of css and this one that's done then i am going to use the js for this so let's just comment this file and at the bottom after this a script using source of this so actually the source has to be like https okay like this and also here https https and because we are using data table we need to use jquery cdn so let's use cdn also and let's get the minified version which is this and you need to have this just above the js of data table then at last you need to have this simple script which is initializing the data table so like this okay and then you need to have this 
id on your table so i'm going to give the id of my table because now if i go refresh this page it's looking yeah it's having these things but actually we don't want this link for now and then we don't want even we don't want these uh, these things looping and now i'm just going to have all the users so if i now refresh it says no data in the data table and now what we need to do actually we need to go here and yeah getting all these users and refresh so now i have all the users but this time i can just paginate and there is no refresh and it is a little faster than the previous thing but you know if i go on the source page you can see it is having all the thousand users and again this is not exactly we want so i'm going to do one more thing let's take it another level 10,000 users. So I'm going to make 10,000 users by using the factory on our data uh, database. So this will create 10,000 users. So if I refresh, yeah, 4,700 is already created and 6,300. So it's doing these things. So what you expect? Will it take time to load or will it do all these things very fast? We will see once we have. So we have all the 10,000 data. So 11,000, 1,000 from previous. Then go to Chrome, refresh this page. And yeah, you can see it's still loading, loading, loading and loading. Okay. So here is the problem. So this makes problem because as I told you on the source page, you can see it is still again even the source code is <laughs> taking time to load because we are loading 11,000 users. So that's pretty huge. So it is done and <laughs> you can scroll till the night. Okay, so now comes the second part. So yes, on the data table, you can simply use our other things like uh, if I go to the example part and here, you can use the Ajax or server side system. But again, to set up all these things is very, very dangerous. You need to refer to the documentation again and again, and that create problem. Here comes our Yajra box level data table this is so cool that you don't need to do lots of things so now the ajax part that means loading the fields which is required searching on the fly is all done just level data table by yajra box so from the next episode we are going to start the installation process and how we're going to set up the level data table on our Laravel project and loading 11,000 data with Yajra box Laravel data table. So if you are excited about this series, what you are waiting for, just go and subscribe to this channel, like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We will meet in the next episode till then. Goodbye.